Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and it's time for an out of the pack pick. Don't often do these, mostly because I don't tend to buy brand new locks, so they're not in packs. But I found this Cub Steel Padlock, and it reminds me of the American Series 20, or is it the 50? Somebody will tell me in the comments. Um, steel Padlock, saw resistant hardened steel case, which is really cool, and shackle, double locking. Um, it says cylinder resist drill attack, eh, possibly. Um, 45 millimeter hardened steel case, suitable for sheds, gates, garages, factory storage areas, etc. Um, anything else that's interesting? No, it says, um, oh, it does say uh, occasionally lubricate with a small amount of proprietary lubricant, for example, WD 40. Look there, not oil. That's going to get some uh, people shackles up, that's for sure. Right, so, um, rules tend to be that uh, the time starts when I put the pick in. I just want to make sure that I can not destroy the box too much. Let's see if that works. Surprising tough cardboard. There we go. Well, actually, yeah, that, that's thick. That's actually quite thick cardboard. That's hilarious. Um, there we go. Right. He says, uh, probably making a bigger hash of this than it probably needs to be. Okay. Let's see if we'll just get that lock out. Oh, well, all that work. There you go. Failed at the first hurdle. Still hasn't absolutely destroyed the box, so that's kind of cool. Right. Um, can I get these keys off? I don't really want to be looking at the keys. But I do want to make sure the lock actually works. And it's all locked back up. Oh, that's gritty. But it opens. And look, you can see that lovely brand new oil on. Actually, it's very pleasing. Wow, the smell. Gosh, the smell of that is insane. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it sort of smells really oily. Yeah. Hmm, that's, maybe it's the bitting. It's quite extreme. Um, maybe it's catching up on one of the pins, but that's surprisingly, yeah, oh, well, gritty. Not to worry, um, I'm gonna use a curved pry bar, so Mad Bob's one, that's the one mil. Let's see if I can get the 1.2 mil in there, because it's uh, gonna be a little bit more of a tighter fit, which I can. Then I'll be picking using either the gem, Pete's and gem, in 18 thousandth, or we'll, we'll be picking with the uh, Sparrow's Lunatic, which is pretty awesome. Okay, um, I think we're all comfortable. Should we give it a go? I say we give it a go. All right. Ready, steady, go. So six, five, four, three, I think. Oh, into a full set. Okay, that's good. Uh, six now, good. Five, oh. Five, that's good. And two. I'm going with the lunatic just to see if it reaches up into this. So six, five, four, three. And we're open, there we go. One minute, 23 seconds. Lunatic's got a slightly higher reach, means I'm not going to overset those pins. Pretty cool. Um, okay, right, so, gutting this. I'm just going to um, gut this 
off camera, there's no point in me doing it on camera. You're not going to see anything you haven't seen before, but it would be interesting to see the pins. I felt some pretty shallow spools in there, so I'm just gonna say one standard and five shallows. Okay, back in a second, we'll see what's inside. Okay, so we're all disassembled, and for once I was right about my prediction. You can see here that what you've got is um, one standard pin, anti-drill steel pin, and then all the rest are these little shallow spools. Uh, they didn't give particularly deep false sets. Um, nice to see that the key pins have serrations when they're long enough to receive serrations. So uh, pins six, four, and one um, all have serrated pins. Uh, very similar actually to the internals of federal padlocks, federal lock padlocks. Um, but yeah, kind of cool. So yeah, a nice little uh, lock, really nice having a collection. I love these American lock clone type locks. And the hardened steel ones, brand new, all shiny like this, especially because Chubb don't really exist anymore, um, are even more awesome. All right, well, thank you all for watching. If you've never had a go at doing an out of the pack pick, just challenge yourself, it's only a bit of fun, don't take it too seriously. All right, and I'll see you all next time.